Hi class, we are now going to be doing muscles that move the forearm. Remember the forearm is this area here, the antebrachium, and it includes it's where the, the radius on the lateral side, the ulna on the medial side, that is the forearm. So we're going to have muscles that are going to be inserting either in the radius or the ulna, and their origin is going to be proximal to the elbow joint. So these muscles are going to be somewhere up here, their origin, and their insertion is going to be down in here. So they are going to be crossing the elbow joint. So we are going to have action at the elbow joint. So let's get started with the first muscle on your list. So we're going to start with the anterior muscles. So the anterior muscles um, um, that move the forearm. The first one is going to the, be the biceps brachii. So the biceps brachii, it has two heads. That's why it's called bi. So that is the short head. Let me add the long head. So this is the biceps brachii. It's called bi because it has two origins. The origins are up in here. You can't really see it. So let's go ahead and fade all the others. So you can see we have um, an origin of the um, short head is going to be right here. The origin of the short head is going to be at the coracoid process of the scapula and the long head is going to be, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just right above the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So here we see the origins. They are both on the scapula. So what's unique about the biceps muscle, it is crossing the shoulder joint here. So it's going to have action at the shoulder joint. And its insertion is down. If you can see this, down in the radius set the radial tuberosity down here. So it is crossing the elbow joint also. So the biceps brachii is going to have two actions because it's crossing two joints. It's going to have action at the shoulder joint where it is going I to O. So it's going to bring that arm forward. So that's going to be flexion at the shoulder joint. And it, it also has action at the elbow joint, I to O, I to O. So it's going to have bending of the elbow or flexion of the elbow. So the biceps brachii crosses two joints, the shoulder and the elbow, two actions. The next muscle on your list is the brachialis. Now the brachialis is just deep to the biceps brachii. So you can see here it's peeking out laterally and it's going to be peeking out here medially too. And you can also see it peeking out in the anticubital fossa right here. So if we cut this tendon of the biceps brachii and lift this, the biceps up, let's go ahead and remove the biceps. We're going to, we're going to hide that and this one too. So now what we have is the brachialis by itself. So let's isolate the brachialis. So we can see that the brachialis, its origin, let me see if I can get the humerus in here. Its origin is in the humerus. It's on the anterior surface um, of the humerus. And its insertion is down on the ulna by the coracoid process of the of the ulna. So this is going to be just be crossing one joint, the elbow joint, I to O. This is also going to be bending the elbow. This is flexion, flexion of the elbow. So this is crossing the elbow joint. Its action is flexion. So that's the brachialis. And then the next muscle 
Let's go ahead and put back our that we don't want that. Oh, gosh. Don't want that. Sorry. Okay. So now we are going to go to. Sorry. Let me let me pause. So now we're going to go to the third muscle on your list. Remember, always have your master list in front of you. We are going to the brachioradialis. Brachioradialis. Brachio, the origin is up in the brachium. Radial, its insertion is going to be on the radius, and it's the distal part of the radius. So let's go ahead and isolate this muscle out. So the brachioradialis, uh, let's see if we can see the humerus a little bit better. So here you see the origin. It's on the lateral, lateral side of the anterior um, humerus. So here's the humerus. Here is the origin. The insertion is, is way down here at um, the styloid process of the radius. So this muscle if you, I'll show it to you in class on, on you, on yourself. This muscle takes up a big part of the real estate of your lateral forearm. Um, so the brachioradialis, it's going to go I to O. I to O, I to O, I to O. So it's, do, it's another bender of the elbow, flexion of the elbow. So those are the three B's of the elbow. The three benders of the elbow, biceps brachii, brachialis, and the brachioradialis. These are all anterior muscles, anterior muscles. Now let's go to the back side. So on the back of the, of the arm, this whole backside, this is all triceps. Now triceps has three heads. So you're going to have the lateral head here. Then you'll have the medial head. Let me add them all together. Multi-select. Um, you're going to have the medial head here. And then we're going to have the long head here on the this part right here. So let's Go ahead and fade the others so you can actually see their or origins up here. So you see on this long head, the origin is actually just below the glenoid fossa of the scapula. Here's, you can see the scapula here. Here's the glenoid fossa. So this long head is inserting on the scapula. The lateral and medial heads are on the humerus. But because of this long head here inserting on the scapula, we say it's crossing the shoulder joint too. So it's going to have action on the shoulder joint. This is going to give us pulling the arm back. This is going to give us extension at the shoulder. It's not very strong, but it does give us extension of the shoulder. Now the insertion is on the olecranon. Remember the olecranon of the ulna? It's that bony part of your elbow when you have your elbow on the table. That is the olecranon. So it is crossing the elbow joint and the main action of the triceps is extension of the elbow at the elbow joint. So here we have it. If you have your, your elbow bent, flexed, and you contract the triceps, it's going to straighten out that arm and get extension at the elbow. Bam. Bam. So that's it for the the muscles that move um, that move the forearm. So we would say the three B's, the three benders of the elbow that cause flexion, those are what to the triceps brachii. Those are antagonists. And likewise, the triceps brachii, 
is an antagonist to the three Bs up here. And the three Bs are all synergists for elbow flexion. Pretty simple. And now we're going to go on to muscles that move the wrist and fingers.